monkey with a spanner and we're talking about the last few bits and pieces of the body armor which are these parts here the tasties or tacits we even have one to go on the back they simply strap onto the bottom of our fold so I won't put up the straps you can see what they look like you know they do buckles but they literally just join onto those buckles and they're an articulating piece of armour so you can still move your legs, you can still get on a horse etc. With a cut out in the middle, one one side, one the other. One of the most common questions, how do you go to the toilet? Normal way but a bit more carefully that's all, it's just a bit more fiddly. But it also will accommodate a horse so you can get a horse, well not a very small horse in that bit but they flap up. But obviously that gives a very good target so first of all have the fringe of mail that's hanging off the bottom of the fold, the bottom lane, but combine it with the mail skirt which goes underneath the whole thing, put the tassets over the top and suddenly you have a multi-layered system of protection. So the rear one quite simply does the same thing, just extends the fold at the back. It's optional so if you can ride with it or you want to ride with it you can Otherwise you can take it off, you don't have to have it, just take it away. Some people prefer to have only one tacit when jousting for example, others prefer to have two, some people take them off completely. If somebody's striking you that low it's probably gone quite badly already. So let's put them on. This is I think the most awkward way around it's on upside down backwards. You can do this, you can do that. So one tacit, another tacit. So as you can see now, with the tassets on, the protection is actually quite good now. Covers up all those awkward to arm parts of the body with the combination of a male skirt underneath it all. Very difficult to get through. One thing that's worth mentioning on here is this one buckle here. Now a lot of the information that we use to make these armours and research the armours is effigies, various effigies all over the country and very often a effigy will have a particular buckle that's different from others and it could be any of them but that means that that's a, a representation in marble of that particular armour not just generic armour, they want it to be that armour. So for example if my good friend Dom had died, God forbid, but if he had, and they wanted to make an effigy of him in his armour, then this buckle would be different. You can see the other three have a bottom keeper on them. However, this one doesn't. Either it's broken or it's a replacement. Either way, that one makes that this armour, not generic armour. And that's reflected on the effigies. Only got the gauntlets and then the hat to do, haven't we? <sighs> what are you looking at, Pink? <laughs>